Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a very quick little speed test comparison here uh, between the Huawei uh, Nexus 6P and the Note 5 here to the best Androids on the market right now if you ask me uh, well definitely the most premium you know you can't uh, dispute that whether you like glass or metal personally I like metal but I don't mind glass as well as long as it's protected uh, so we can see here which one is giving you the better performance out of these two. And I think it's going to be close with these two because they both have like strengths going for them. You've got the 6P with its stock uh, marshmallow uh, versus the Exynos B7420 or 22 in the, the uh, Note 5. Uh, you can see the boot up very fast here still, you know, not messing around. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM as well. So you can see we are all up to date here on the uh, Note 5. So you can ignore that message. Just show you quite quick. You can see no updates. And this one all up to date as well. Uh, so basically we're going to just uh, run through some app opening here and see how they handle this. Uh, quite a lot of people wanted to see this comparison. So you can see if uh, the Nexus can dethrone the Note 5 for the speed. And that was literally identical there on Facebook bit quicker here on the right when it comes to your snapchat LinkedIn again virtually identical wow like uh, twins here <laughs> and again like uh, whatsapp should I say now that was probably the dope but not really distinguishable you know very uh, close here uh, we do have the camera so I think the note again here took a while for the cursor to come up then. Uh, dialer. That was about the same. Maybe the 6P actually, but I'd have to literally record that to see the difference. Oh, 6P for the YouTube. Very nice. So that is definitely in the 6P there. And uh, even the new Play Store actually loads slower than the older one on the Note. Not sure when we're going to get the new Play Store on the old one. Uh, but I think you can see here the Note is still very fast, even though it's like with TouchWiz and all that. Uh, clock as well. I think we have clock. So about the same there. But really quite uh, similar if you ask me when it comes to your day-to-day -day kind of apps, you know, not a huge difference. So definitely not something to consider when considering these two. Uh, we also have Subway Surf here. Just going to open up some uh, games. See how they handle it. So a bit of loading here for the Snapdragon 810. Uh, device on the left. Uh, what about another game? I think we have Nova 3. So a little bit faster again here on the right to go into the game. So two out of uh, three there for the note. And again, we do have an annoying advert here. Oh my God, take over my device advert. Uh, but I think this one definitely loaded the games faster. So, you know, we're going to give it uh, the games there. But, you know, the general day-to-day -day apps, not everyone plays games at the end of the day. And you can see the 6P keeps up with the Note pretty much. And, you know, it's a cheaper device at the end of the day compared to the Note full metal jacket as well so you can see here the web browsing starting off very fast on the 
the 6P here, which did very well as well against the iPhone on this particular component. You can see again, straight in there, no messing around. GSM again slightly quicker here on the left phone arena and again so you can see here definitely the Huawei is ahead when it comes to the the web browsing if you ask me and what's happened here Wow, both of them not having any response there. That website can be temperamental though. And the notes coming back though here when it comes to Verge, another temperamental website. So, you know, the notes uh, no slouch. Uh, one more, Kotaku. We like some Kotaku. Again, I see the 6P here loading that faster. So definitely gonna give it to the 6P when it comes to the web browsing. Very nice performance here. Uh, finally, we can just round off with a quick little, uh, quick little multitasking test. And you know, I've got my money on the left here. Don't know about you. But uh, I think you could load Samsung with like six gigs of RAM. It still would reload. A bit slow here though on the uh, Facebook. And it looks like the note's not doing too bad tonight actually. Maybe they've updated it. So I'm noticing some uh, reloading actually on the left. And the note is, you know, it's keeping up tonight. Wow, very surprising. Quicker here though on the left of the keyboard. So that was very similar. Maybe the note though, you know, camera quite quick to go into. Uh, I think uh, as well, I don't, I don't know if I've tested this yet. Just wanted to see the uh, camera speed here, three, two, one. So, whoa, what's that? That's weird. Let's try that again. So I think the note may be a little bit quicker for the shortcut there, but I did just want to test that as well. Uh, so the games as well. Reload. I saw you note know, five and also Nova reload again straight in the game there so I think you can see here in general the the uh, multitasking uh, seems to be quite quick on the Note 5 when it does keep it in memory but there's still a memory issue there uh, so I did see some reloads on the 6P as well, but I think that's probably because it's like uh, you know some uh, updates that they might need to roll down for Marshmallow. Both of them can be improved, I think, when it comes to the multitasking at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. You can see the Nexus 6P does very well against the uh, main competitor. And if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.